Have you got something to sell? A project or promotion you want to talk about? Or how about just to get something off your chest? Call Night Talk with Joe Rocks. Armed Radio Global presents Night Talk with Joe Rocks, 10 p.m. Eastern. Join the talk now on Ustream TV. Replays on Spreaker, exclusively on Armed Radio Global. Well, of course, you all have tried whipped cream on it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Or I what? tried when or I was married. I tried mayonnaise because <laughs> I love mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> How could you tell the difference? Oh, no, what you I know. Oh, well, there's a difference. I like it. What? Mayonnaise? I, mayonnaise? I suck longer. You're about to listen to Night Talk, so buckle up. Your host tonight, Joe Rocks, now on Spreaker every Thursday, 1 a.m. Eastern. I'll take you. Wow. If Long had to go Welcome to transfer to station, you think she'd be taking her bags out of her trunk? Host, I don't think so. Joe Rocks. Uh, what? I, wow, that was a low. Um, yeah. <laughs> are, we are, are we live right now? You are live. Uh, oh, okay. It's live, live, Joe. Live. Okay, yeah. But listen, before we, uh, are we live on the radio too? You're live on everything. You stream. Wow. wow Tune I'm in. Impressed. I'm really impressed. Facebook Live. Um. Wow. Live, live. You're live. Wow. Everywhere. Okay, so I guess I'm really live. Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to One uh, Night Talk tonight um, out of Boston. We're on live. live radio. Yep. Um, and um, tonight we got, um, look who's here with us. I know, huh? Look who's here. Amazing. A, a, a fantastic singer. I, You know, I just discovered her today, this afternoon. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. What yeah. a beautiful voice. I mean, yeah. Lauren Damrich is here, everybody. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey Lauren. And then also also um uh the coach is here and uh Matt. Hey, Matt. Maddie okay. in the morning. And I got a surprise for you for Uh oh. Uh-uh. Uh for who? For okay. you because you asked me to put up a video. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So uh maybe we're gonna see Lauren in action, uh doing uh doing her um Maybe you know, it's on Facebook Live. You're so hopefully it comes across. So I'm yes. gonna yeah, so well, Matt's fixing Matt, her hair live on camera. Yeah, so yeah, um, yeah, doll up a little bit. Now listen, uh, tonight we have. Um, now I I hope I say her name right because uh, I I you know I don't know how to say it basically. It's kind of you know uh, her name is Bessie. I know how to say that, and her last name is a dot. I think, uh, and she's a filmmaker out of California, and and she'll be on at around ten thirty, coming in around ten thirty. And now Lauren's going. <clears throat> Lauren's going to see what's going on with her yep. and stuff like that. So that's get be, the scoop. Is she going to get the scoop on what's what she's doing and stuff like cool. that? You know, girl talk. They're going to dish dish out the stuff. You know, maybe uh, we can get her to do a duet or something. No, no, she's not a singer. She's she, she's a filmmaker. You didn't think Lauren was either. No, La- <laughs> Lauren. You didn't think Lauren. Lauren, was. Lauren is. Lauren does these these entertainment interviews and stuff like that. So she she does all that. And Bessie, I told I talked to Bessie earlier today. Um, and I, I told her that um, she'll be on live 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 feed video. Um, so I don't know if she's she's shy or she's. I don't think she'd be shy because she's in the business. Um, so she'll probably come, not. Yeah. Yeah. She'll, she'll come right on. I'm shy. So uh, yeah. Yeah. But you know, yeah. you're not easy. Yeah. You're not easy on the eye like Bessie is. You know. So <laughs> sure. Um, but anyway, uh, that'll be a little later. Um, also um, tonight, uh, Ronnie B will be here as well as uh, Randy, songwriter Randy. Um, who is doing a um, duet with um, with Lauren, um, and that's going to be a great oh. song. It's going to be a great song. Wow. I mean, she she really like finished it off. Do you know what I'm saying? It was great. Um, the name of the song is called Cowboy Heaven, right, Lauren? Yes, and it yeah. was a lovely. I love him. A lot of people say he sounds like Chris Isaac, but I think he sounds like Willie Nelson a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's he's yeah, he's. I don't know. I I, I think more a little like uh, Sam Elliott. Well, he, but Sam Elliott's not a singer. Yeah, he's Sam Elliott doesn't talking, sing. We're talking yeah. the voice. Sam we're, Elliott, talk, we're talking oh, the voice. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. But Oh, and by the, the way, uh, I did get a message from Kimberly Murray. She said she will be late, and she'll bring the doom and gloom later. 
Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. Well, we have Kimberly coming on later on. Yeah. And um, I think that she will, ha will have our bombs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our bath bombs. I don't know if you've seen that. I uh, got it. I'm running out of soap. Yeah. So, um, you know, should we have that, having that, bringing that, bringing that along? And so I don't you know. Now, if we are on Facebook Live, um, are we on Facebook Live, Lauren? Um, I'm not seeing it. See, um, I can't. If you go I, to Live, I see Live. And it says, it, says, it's, it says Matt Hazley's live. Well, how can I? You think I'm going to be able to do is access your Facebook? Oh, so how, what do I do here? I just want to share it out to the Night Talk feed. Yeah. How do I do that? <laughs> I got to share now. Yeah, yeah see, I it. can't really do this stuff. Do you know What's what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I, and, and I'm supposed to share your Facebook? Huh? Well, uh, no. No, I mean, but you share that to... Um, well, Look, we're all got. Let me let me put my back up. Try to figure this out at a later time, but I can't do the show and, and share this stuff. You know what I mean? I just can't do it. Can't be done like that. So anyway, um, welcome everybody on the Facebook feed, um, and um, all around the uh, the world, I guess. Right? We're oh, in sixty oh. countries. Yeah, we're right? all in sixty countries. Sixty countries. Yeah, we have um, two point seven five million listeners and viewers. All right. All um, around the world. All around the world. And pots of candy. Catrice Bonds was just on ahead of us. Um, and oh, I just shared it, guys. So it's yeah, yeah, but uh, thanks for sharing it one time, Lauren. You got to like <laughs> push it out there, okay? <laughs> you got to actually haul my show out, okay? You got to like send it out all over know, the place. I don't know how to do that. I, well, I mean, I, that's what I do. I mean, I do it for everybody. <laughs> you got to be a prostitute. Oh, yeah. Turn well, on for the show. For show. It's for biz. Show biz. Oh, but anyway. I just um, did it. I just did it. I turned it all over to everybody. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, anyway, uh, did you share it on? Well, she didn't, share, she didn't share it on our radio, but I'll do that. But anyway, um, I got to do that. Hang on. I right, talked to the people for a second while I share it on this thing, will you? Okay, Coach, what I, are you drinking? I just shared it to your page, Joe. I am drinking. What page? Uh, beer. What kind of beer? What uh, page? Michelob Ultra. I just shared it to Joe. Is that your first Seven one? Oh. Oh, my first oh, one? Savino? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's great. <laughs> the day starts what the hell, what the hell at 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. That's my I was first gonna one. Say, you said with the chuckle. Uh, actually, you know, I, I'm, I'm, we're on, we're actually on 10, the radio, 12. so I don't even know why I'm on the, worrying about the video. Uh, what I don't I'm like. 12th, okay, good. Okay, you guys can talk. Okay. Oh, you told us I'll talk. be right back. Okay, I'll be okay. right back. I'll be right back. Yeah. Come back to me, Coach. Uh, what are you doing? What, what, how many is this for you today? How many beers? Yeah. Oh, Quite a few. Why? I just curious. Because I had an extra lot of wine today. And normally oh. I work out so hard that two what, glasses what? of wine knock me over. And I'm actually on my third glass and I feel okay. I don't know if that's stress or not. No, no I just probably bought my 12th beer. Oh, gosh. Well, stress you know from my, one. You're, yeah. 12, you're kidding Holy me. Holy crap. Oh. We're actually going to have to take you to get a liver transplant. Yeah. <laughs> no, my liver's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay. On the table, you know, his liver. it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you taking your uh, milk thistle to clean your liver? Your milk thistle to clean your liver. I'm taking beer to clean my liver. And, and, and liver, my liver and my kidneys. I gotta figure this out. I can't. That's what the it's, beer does. That's what the alcohol does. It's like getting a, a cut. You put alcohol on it to, to get the germs out of there and stuff. This is painful. I got over it. over a long period of time. But now, coach, what did you eat today? Um, Honestly, why? Yeah. Can't, okay, I know why. Crackers and cheese. Yeah, you, you didn't make them me public. Yes, they call is. me. I can't share it to the Am Radio Facebook page. And, I can't. You know, you know why? Because it says that you don't allow people to post on it. On, yeah. On, on the on the Am Radio page. Yep. Yeah. I, I tried to. I tried to. It and it wouldn't let me. Oh, all right. Hang on. Well, I'm so, sorry about this, guys. This is called. A... It said. It said Joe's too much of a dick to let us share on your page. Uh, you okay. can put Matt is an authorized you know, user. He, he's starting to get cocky. You know what I mean? He's, he's starting to yeah, get cocky. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little star maker. You know. Background there, Matt. I've got to put my. It looks like a bunch of broccoli. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it does. <laughs> what? That's, it's a shitty. It does. That's a shitty it background. Does. It's it, shitty. It looks like it's, it looks it like does broccoli. Look like, it okay. does look like broccoli. Yeah. Why don't you like put broccoli. it to a cornfield or something like that? That would be it, much better looking. Better. Yeah. Or put yourself like yeah. on the, like on a golf course. Yeah. Represent. No. 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 Cornfield. Oh. Represent. You know. Represent. What is that? You're right. Oh, what, it's how was that? I don't know. I don't know. 
Here we go. Here he goes. Here he goes with this thing. All right. Hang on. Anyway, uh, we're on the radio, everybody, and um, we're trying to do a couple things here because um, this is all new for me. Um, oh, know. all the new equipment you got. So. Yeah, all this, you know, it's all new all and new stuff. All the equipment we and, have. Uh, basically, I'm going to try to see if I can do this because I, I like to share it out to the, the main page, but, um, you know, this it's is like, kind of like a virgin show. Yeah, um, yes, yeah, I'm virginal, pretty much. Virgin. It's a virgin. Yeah. That's virginal show. A virgin. Exactly. Been so long, I'm a virgin yeah. again. Keep really? calm. Well, I'm, try, I'm trying to. Um, no, Matt's got his keep calm thing up there. All right, hang oh. on. What are you? What are you drinking? Oh my God! I'm I, I'm not a part of that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> What am I drinking? Matt always yeah. has to do his little. Um, little I'm drinking little, a, a glass you know, of wine that um, um, brought to me. What kind of wine, honey? I don't know how to do this, man. Um, this, this it was thing. some French wine that this suitor brought me. It's, it's delish. Oh, good. But you're not feeling it, huh? I'm not feeling it. You're right. Yeah. Unless I, oh, I, yeah. I, I'm assuming he didn't drop anything at the bottom, and I just hadn't gotten to that part yet. Well, all all these beers I had, I'm, I'm not feeling it yet either. So yeah. see, um, people share. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah. People... Is it gonna be long? Uh, all right. Is it what? I'm excited oh, because painful. we have had no tornado sirens, just no flooding, no power outages today. That really? I think the hurricane stuff has dismissed itself from the state really? of Alabama. Well, that's good. That's that's that's, that's oh, good. Florida's, you got to share that to now. Armed Radio, Matt. That's how you do it. Um, and then uh, I can pull it in. Uh, anyway, um, welcome everybody, and I hope um, getting before I, before I go any further, I want to you know um, make sure that um, you, you guys um, know that um, you know there's a hurricane coming. You aware of that? Well, no, no. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's no. It's where's coming. the hurricane? I thought it just left here. Where no. is it coming now? Uh, it's it's coming from um, the the uh, Philippines. Actually, there's three of them coming. Dear God, yeah, I mean, three of them. one, two, three, I, I boom, one right after another. You know, I mean, that's why you know, out of out of the, all the all the fifty states, the best place to live is New England. Oh, I want to live there. Without a doubt. Okay, because we don't have any problems like that. Without a doubt. You know, we, we, get, we get snowstorms. We get snowstorms. We have no earthquakes. You we can have, deal with that. We got right? no earthquakes. No, no, uh, no tornadoes. We got nothing. Actually, New Hampshire gets. And you got clam chowder. Well, we got you. Okay. <laughs> We got we got clam chowder and a lot yeah. of women wearing flannel. Actually, we got a, we got a big we got a. Yeah. That got would a big, be that's, that's a only, chubby state. We that's have a, a big seafood state. fest coming up this, it this is, weekend. It is right? it is very chubby. Yeah. You going to seafood fest this weekend? Oh, I would love that. Big seafood fest coming up. No, no. That's like you know wearing burkas or living in somewhere cold. You can just kind of let your body go. If you live in the hot areas, you got to keep it on on tap. Yeah, yeah. Well, yours definitely on tap, right, Coach? Always, yeah. always on, it's tap. on tap. You know. Gracias. I haven't seen the gym in past four days, but gracias, amigos. Oh man, I'm telling you. Um, now, uh, who's, who, 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 who was here? What's that name? Um, Bessie. Who's not here? Bessie's down there, and then. Uh... Mike. Yeah, Mike. Mike, Mike Allen? On, no, 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 no. Mike, Mike was Kleinen? on the other night when we were testing. Oh, Mike, yeah. Hey, welcome, Mike, um, to um, Night Talk. This is um, madness here. Um, it's not as organized as uh, Matt Hazley. You know, he's. Um, I think his mic is off. No, he's just he's he's, he's like a. Uh, it's, a lot, okay, it's a lot better than I. It was the other night. So, and, uh... <laughs> hey, Mike, uh, have I told, well, have I told you to kiss my ass lately? Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> well, you can well, show him a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. oh, really? Kissing his ass. Uh, I don't know. So uh, I want to talk to you for a minute, uh, Lauren, about um, singing. How, how, you know, how did you, um, how did you like it? I mean, did you just. Oh my gosh. I was like, that's another thing on my bucket list that I did. And actually, I, I think I wrote, I was texting my boss the other night because I was really, really sad. And um, it, I was like, Randy, we got to do this this tomorrow. I got to get on to this. And it was the funnest thing. It just went by so quick. I mean, it was like the first two things I sang. And he was like, okay, well, those are good. I was like, well, you don't want me to try again? He was like, no, those are good. Like, yeah, they, they was, it was fantastic. I really, um, I really, I was taken aback by it, to be honest. You were all you. excited over that. Yeah, I was. I mean, I, I couldn't believe that she could sing like that, to be honest with you. I couldn't. Yeah. Well, I didn't think I had an angelic voice. Yeah, I mean, neither did I. Neither did I. Also, have horns at times too. No, you want to try to bring it up? 
Yeah, well, yeah. Can we bring it up and see? Yeah, yeah let's. You, yeah, you let's, might not yeah, see yeah. it, but the the Facebook Live people will see it. Oh, okay. Hopefully, so hopefully the audio it, people will hear it. So okay, audio people. Yeah, we'll hear it. Okay, I see it. I do see it live. Okay, it's live on my page. All right. Go, yeah. Okay. So go ahead. It's we up can right it. now. I'm just waiting for it to start playing. Oh, queue up. Okay. We're gonna bring up Lauren right now, singing um, her debut, uh, and this is just um, tracking right now. It's just you know, you can't buy you can't buy the record yet. But no. Yeah. Are you gonna buy one? I already had a couple yeah. people ask me that. Yeah. All right. It's live. So. Did it. Okay. We're gonna be quiet. We gotta be quiet. Yeah. But we can't hear it. I, I hear crickets or something. Yeah, we can't, you know. We, this is see what we what, what we what gets confusing is this is a radio right, network, yeah, but they can hear it. I, that, are you sure about that? They can hear it. I'm watching the audio levels. <laughs> okay, well, we I, don't, I don't hear it. We don't hear right? it. Oh, you can hear it. See? Yeah, you can hear. Oh, maybe I should. Put up, kiss my ass, Joe. Oh, again. Here we go. Here we go. You know, he's got issues. Yeah, he does. It. He, we he, were he does it. We're trying to. Yeah, we're trying great. to. You could really hear her angelical voice over you <laughs> yakking. Let's do it again. Yeah, but we do it one more time. We won't say anything. Yeah, right? we won't so, say nothing. Right, we're not yeah, gonna yeah. say anything. Wait, can, can you hear it this time? Maybe it doesn't work this time. You know. And hold on, I'm gonna do. I'm, you know what? I can do it right on here. I can put it on the phone, right? Yeah, just put it on the phone and put it on speaker. Yeah, I can do that. My phone's on. It's running live. Oh, it's running live. Okay, it's running live. Beautiful. Okay. Let's... We're trying to... Yeah, we're trying to... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, this got to be the weirdest thing. Okay. We, we, anyway, we'll, cl- we'll put a clip in the... Okay. We're laughing too much. This got to be the weirdest thing. Okay. Anyway, we'll put a clip in. You can't delay it. You can't listen to it delayed. Okay, all right. We'll put a clip in. Anyway, that was... Um, Dang, y'all are making me nervous. <laughs> that was Lauren. We'll, we'll get back to that. That was Lauren and so, uh, songwriter Randy. Uh, they're singing um, Cowboy Heaven, um, and that will be out soon. Uh, I know. Uh, I'm ready to do another one. No. So the one, the one that you, the one that, the other one that Lauren's in is um, she's in a video, but that's my video. Uh, so she's gonna be doing a vid- video. Um, Beautiful lady in the black Mercedes. Yes, I should. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's that'll be. That's, coming. that's the leg shot we're looking at. No. <laughs> It's a leg shot. Yeah, it's just a leg, couple of legs. Yeah, it's in a. I didn't even notice the leg, to be honest. Yeah, see. Well, I'm very subtle. Um, a leg shot. Yeah. I, 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 I do things where people don't even know it. Do you know what I'm saying? You're I'm subliminal. Very yeah, uh, subliminal. Yeah, subliminal. Yeah. No, he's not subliminal a messages. Subliminal. Oh, I was saying criminal. Yeah, subliminal. <laughs> but um, <laughs> you, uh, you know that will be out soon. I don't know when. We'll have to ask Randy about that. Um, anyway, um, get yeah, back he asked to me about that. I was yeah, like, get, you need to talk to Boston. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, so uh, we'll we'll talk about that later. Um, and oh, I want to, before I go a friendly in. Okay, I, I have to mention that friendly Cambridge. in and, and Cambridge Harvard Square, sixteen seventy five Mass Mass Ave. Oh shit, sixteen. <laughs> I right, let me do that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know, there's just so many so much activity here. And then there's the what? on this first show of this yeah it's show. like you know I, i'm virgin this show is so big no it's like it's so i don't big. i don't i don't really um you can't even I, well i i don't have anything like t- together because we're, you know we're on we're on a different platform now right well, i'm not used we're to live it. right yeah, I mean, well we're live but i'm not really used to it this is we're not on the regular system or on a different system so um that's why i'm having um um should well, different yeah, lauren um you know um interview bessie because otherwise, oh, Matt issues. yeah, we, we have, and Matt's having issues, you know. Matt's just Matt like off screen. Where are you, Matt? All she's looking at the video with Lauren's legs playing over and over again. <laughs> no, 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 I was actually <laughs> responding to a comment so on Facebook know, Live for you. Hey, I, I, great yeah. sound, man. You can't even hear me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was uh, responding to a comment somebody made on Facebook Live. 
<laughs> Which I say. And I said, yes, Joe is a dick. And that's oh, all okay. right. Well, whatever. They no. Not they didn't say that. Johnny what? Blender wanted to know. He's he's listening in. He wanted to know if it was actually Fuse. And I said, it's Fuse broadcasted over Facebook Live. Yeah. Well, Johnny Blender was on uh, Big Swole last night, right, Matt? Yes, he was. Yeah. Um, so and, uh, you, you can check out Johnny's show um, every Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern. Whiskey, cars, and cigars. Yeah. Um, so that's a good show. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm constantly giving, um, you know, shout outs to different people. Well, but you're, well, yeah, you're uh, right. anyway, so. Boy well, show. Yeah. When you consider that kind of a boy show. Yes, yeah, that's a boys' night. That's boys' night. Yeah, yeah boys' night. Yeah. Anyway, um, Lauren, so did you know that you had it in you to sing like that? Oh, yes. I've, done, I've sung forever. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, I actually so, sing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I, you know, I thought you was. I, I know you did acting. Sing and dance. He just got really? your pretty face. That's all he no. does, you know? <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. No. I, I would have just done blind. No. <laughs> No, no, I, no, no, I didn't say that. No, I didn't pretty say face. That. No, pretty I, face, I agree. What I said, you know, I, I, I thought you was just an actor. That's it. No, I'm That's an entertainer. I'm kind of like, oh, I think I should have been like in a circus or something because I can do everything. <laughs> well, I don't think so because if you'd have been that trapeze, you'd have probably killed yourself. You That's know, true. You would have fell off. You know what? Yeah, you know, Matt, it's hard you know, to fall I've off. I've fallen so many times. It's hard to fall <laughs> off a flat surface. You're very right. You're right. In fact. Um, my daughter purchased me one of those things because I broke my phone when I fell. Oh, I yesterday. thought maybe she purchased one of them little foam helmets, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, does anybody know on Facebook that they changed the the round Earth to a, a bell? That's kind of no. yeah. What? No, they yeah. they yeah. did what? They shouldn't do that. And then I. Oh, got... I did notice this. Yeah, I did yeah. notice oh, that. I, no. did. I, I did notice that. I didn't notice, it, but now you say yeah, it. Yes, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I see it. I can see it. And now. then you know, I, I, the I, I, I go about? to check my balance in the bank today, right? You know, not that I have any money in there, right. but I just went to look at it, right? And it's it says um, that my app's been re- oh, and it came back up again. Wow, that's pretty good. What came up back up? No, I, oh, it said my my app was retired. Right. I mean, how can they retire an app? So they replaced it with a bell? I don't know, but <laughs> that's. Yeah, I mean, don't I didn't notice that until you just. I mean, yeah, I noticed I mean, it, but I didn't. I didn't think of it. Don't you social media people notice that stuff like that? I, I mean, did, but I thought it's because I was getting a lot of hits today. <laughs> no, I, 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 it's, uh, I'm kind of like nervous about picking up the phone. Um, uh oh, who could that be? Your bank? Uh, yeah, it, it could, could be, be bank. my bank. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> That's Am I gonna, overdrawn? That's, that's gotta be. That's gotta Am be. Am I yeah. overdrawn? Oh God, that would scare me. Hello. I know I'm overdrawn. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I know uh, that boy. Yeah, that yeah, was, that's, come on. Uh, that's Sam Elliott. I mean, uh, songwriter Sam Andy. <laughs> come to come on, Joe Rock Live. Yeah, yeah. Come on to um, uh, the what do you call that, Randy? Um, Joe Rock Live. Dot com. Randy. Joe <laughs> no, I know, no, I know, but we. Matt says to come on uh, JoeRocksLive.com so we can hear you. Lauren's here; she's all dressed up, dolled up. All yeah, she's all dolled up. up. She, you know, she looks awesome. But she's always dolled up. Yeah, yeah I'm always no, dolled up when I see you. Yeah, boys. she did she's a fantastic job free. today, Randy. Yeah. But y'all don't know what I have down below. Hey, she's band-aid free. <laughs> well, maybe you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she did. I no, think she wakes up like that. Yeah, no head, head injuries, she nothing right like now. That. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Uh, um, okay, so uh, somebody else just came in. Um, somebody, I, I really don't know who else came in. But anyway, welcome. Um, and if people want to come in and um, listen to um, Bessie and uh, Lauren's interview, uh, just come into JoeRocksLive.com, punch it up, and uh, come right in. And uh, you can sit in and uh, listen to the two of them uh, dish on, um, you know, uh, film. Bessie's uh, film and, and, and Bessie's um, project that's coming up. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited to hear about that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boys. So, how have y'all managed without me the past couple of weeks? Uh, it was hard. Um, I can't pick up that phone. Um, again, this is what happens on the eight hundred number. The eight what? Uh, what we 800 have an, number? We, yeah, we have an eight hundred. Oh, number. yeah. And so they said nine hundred. No number. number. Like that's a good idea. Should have nine hundred. Nine hundred number. Yeah, one nine hundred. Yeah. That's Joe like Rocks. Yeah, one nine hundred Joe Rocks. That's not a strip. That's well, not. I call that number. That's all a great. I call that number all the time. Yeah. It's not a stripper number. I call it all the time. What do you think about that? One nine hundred Joe Rocks. I like that. Wow, that's <gasps> a great idea. Coach. Get that. 
Pat yourself on the back. One nine hundred Joe. I love it. Yeah, I, I love like it. That. One, you know, and and uh, um, a dollar for the first minute, five dollars for every minute out thereafter. I'll keep on the line out for an hour. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, why not? Yeah. How are you going to keep them on? You're going to tease them? Yeah. Now, I, uh, what I, what I, a couple things I noticed uh, over the time. Um, well, Randy's here, by the way. Um, a songwriter hey, Randy. Randy. Do you hear that, Randy? He can't hear you. That's the problem. That's right. Yeah, songwriter Randy. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> you can hear him. Hi, you, Lauren. You, can, you know, you you can't hear um, Lauren. I'll, I'll speak for Randy. Hi, Lauren. Yeah, she, he, Lauren. He, she went, well, Hi, Lauren. I love Randy. <laughs> yeah. He checks on me every morning. Randy's dandy, yeah, you know. Oh, oh yeah. Randy's dandy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're, all, you're, you're on top of your, yeah, yeah. You're on top of the thing tonight, I, big I think time. Randy's going wow. sweet on his um his co uh, yeah. co singer. Well, we had to we had to mesh. You had to get each other's. You know, I was about to say the wrong word, and I know how the you three would have taken it. But you got to get your juices flowing. I have no oh, yeah. idea. Yeah, Randy's juices about. are flowing now. Hi, huh, Randy. <laughs> Aren't your juices flowing Matt, right now? I sent you a picture, Matt. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Um, so, yeah, she did a great job, Randy. Um, you know, I, you, I'm sure yeah. you've already seen it, and uh, she she knocked it out of the park, as we say, up in um, Boston, right? You know, Up in New England. Oh, yeah. Oh, New England. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're we're very proud of that. Very yeah. proud. Yeah, she did a great job. Great, great job. Um, and um, what about Ronnie B? Where's Ronnie yeah, B tonight? Where's Ronnie B tonight? Ronnie B's, uh, I think, getting room service in LA right now. Uh, well, well, that's good. All right. Good. All right. <laughs> you know, All right. Are you this shitting is, me? This is what I mean. I make everybody stars. Yeah. Right? And, and, uh, yeah, no kidding. I know. It's, and, and they forget and, Joe Rocks. Joe who? I know. No kidding. Uh, Joe who? He's getting room service, and I'm sitting here with a, 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 a Mick Ultra. Joe, You're scared to answer the phone for open that. Yeah, in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> I know, no kidding. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Yeah. Now we're getting that feedback. Matt. 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 Lauren, what are you doing? There we go. There is so okay. much noise. All right, here we go. Feedback. Bessie, how are you? This is uh, Hello, okay, good. Bessie. Hi, Bessie. All right, so uh, Bessie's here, and I don't know how to Bessie? pronounce. It, but, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be uh, really good. Two blondes, um, in, you know, blondes interview with another blonde. Listen, um, Bessie, how do you say your last name? I'm sorry. A uh, what? A I can't. I can't. A dut. A dut. A dut. Okay. Adut. What is that, Bessie? By the way. Bessie. Uh, is it Norwegian? No. Is it Norwegian? Actually, it's originally Spanish. Really? Oh, you're, oh, you're Espanol. Oh, Espanol. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, anyway, um, let me tell you a little bit about Bessie. Um, she's a filmmaker, uh, and um, she, we, 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 um, you know, she's. I, I guess you posted something about films and stuff like that. So I, I'm always looking for stuff like that to have people yeah, on right. and things like that. And so, um, here's Bessie and um, Lauren is going to talk to you about. Um, she's a better interviewer than I am, Bessie. Um, okay. Actually, I want to tell you a little bit of st- story about Bessie and I for a minute. Uh, you know, we, we, you know, we we take take photographs from you know Facebook page of people that are going to come on, and so. <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> so I, I, I oh, oh it, it, this Kimberly. Hey, Kimberly. Kimberly. Hey, Kimberly's here. Uh, Kimberly's here. Uh, she, Hi, she, honey. Yeah, she'll bring down the show in a minute. Wait, hold, hold, yeah. on, hold I, on. I'm a demon uh, gloom. I know. Hi, honey. Uh, no, so anyway, um, you know, uh, that, you know, I asked the guys, I go, you know, what do you think about this one? She goes, well, put that up. We'll put, you know, put that up. And so I s- submitted to the, um, submitted that and she didn't want it. Uh, so she didn't want no, no, she wanted to be, you know, um, I don't know. I um, I don't know. That's why I have um, Lauren interview you. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead, Lauren. Well, Go ahead. I don't know where to take it. She wanted to be what? Where, so the, you okay, the, the, how we posted her, you know, we posted her as a, as because I, I like people to look at things. Right. And right. That's, you know, because, you know, I know. You're how advertising. To, well, you, yeah. And so I'm advertising Bessie, but she didn't mm-hmm. like the way I advertised her. So I put her in a different way. That's all. Okay. But go ahead. Go okay. ahead. So let's hear about it. You probably want to be taken more seriously, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that picture was a little too sexy. And oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Well, you're with Joe. 
We kind of let we. He's like Uncle Joe. We all slept. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a I'm an old man. What, what, what do I know? Dirty old man. What am I gonna say? Betsy, so tell us about the film that you're. I mean, you know, tell us about the film. I don't really know anything about it, but your film and how long have you been? It, I guess you were you born here in the U.S. because you said your name was Um I'm originally from Istanbul, Turkey. Mm-hmm. But I just recently became an American citizen. I've been in, I moved to Los Angeles in 2006 for film school. Mm-hmm. And I've been back and forth a little bit, but now I'm settled in LA and my family is originally from Spain. Oh, okay. Well, we'll talk about getting that green car, that card because I read all about that. That's sure. difficult. Sure. Congratulations. It's a difficult test. Okay. Right. Wasn't it? Yeah, it took years. <laughs> it took okay. years. Like I, I, I couldn't take the test. Um, but anyway, tell me about you. And you were born here. That's <laughs> sad. I, here. I don't really actually know. <laughs> and you're admitting that on the radio in front of lots of people. Wait, wait, I will say this. Yeah. I have I know. A in oh my god, I'm turning all red. <laughs> it's just not American history, okay? All right, okay. so tell us about your film. I this love is a serious thing. She's not here. She's here for her film, right. Lauren. That's right. what I said. Okay, go ahead. Well, I do. Um, this, this is interesting with Lauren. Oh. Lauren, do you know who the first president of the United States was? <laughs> yes, George Washington. Now, if you're going to ask me more questions. All right, wait a minute, girls. <laughs> we, we, I want to I want to get to Bessie, okay? okay. I, you Bessie, know. okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. Tell us about your movie, because I love movie making. Tell us about your movie, and what's okay. it about? Um, right now, I actually, I was doing a fundraising for GoFundMe. Um, it's for a writer's retreat, mm-hmm. and it's, um, it's on GoFundMe called Help. Basically, go to writers retreat. It's for um, I became a quarter finalist for a senior story, and it's mm-hmm. a very prestigious, reputable writers retreat. And I just completed the the program in UCLA this year for professional screenwriting. And I wrote, thank you. Um, I wrote two feature screenplays, and one of them is called The Turk. It's based on a true historical character. And I add a little fantasy and love and action to it. So that's a future film I want to develop in writing. And that's the one I'm doing fundraising for. And if anybody wants to advertise that for me, I would appreciate it. Because let, me, got- let me ask you. So, because I actually have my hand in that jar. Um, do you, have you um, won an award? With, I mean, did you win any awards? Or, or do you have an agent? Or are you just shopping it around? And have you? I'm going to give you a heads up on something. You you have licensed it with the Writers Guild, right? Or is somebody else steal it? Um, I have it. a I have a manager who represents okay. me as a writer director, and her information is on my IMDb. I did win some awards, nothing huge yet. I mean, my goal is to win an award in Sundance or Cannes. I want to do that. So far, my awards are smaller. In competitions. I made a lot of short films, I wrote, directed, produced, and I also recently optioned a screenplay, it's called Escape Room, it's a horror movie, and yeah. How did I have heard that before? Why have I heard that name? Escape Room, what, what's Escape Room very about? They've been popular lately, They're, they've been around, and this story is about a bunch of teenagers going in an escape room and getting trapped there with a psychopath oh, in a okay. nutshell. Well, that and, sounds really interesting because, you know, horror movies are so big. Yeah, I love horror movies. I grew up watching them, and this is not a screenplay I wrote. I just mm-hmm. optioned it, and I want to direct it, and I have interested producers. Right mm-hmm. now, we're preparing the pre-package, and now we're going to start going and trying to pitch it. And if I can get the, the funds for it, I want mm-hmm. it to be the first feature film I'm going to be directing. What is your genre? What is your favorite genre that you write? And how? And basically, how long does it take you to write a feature film? Are you somebody that like sits at the computer constantly, or is it something you come back to back and forth? Fine. Um, basically, I since I learned a lot from the UCLA program, I'm able to write a screenplay in two months. The mm-hmm. first month is for preparation, doing the outline, the beats, characters. 
and the second month I write the screenplay, but then it's the first draft. Mm -hmm. Then you get feedback, you get reviews. Sometimes you send it to festivals. Sometimes I ask my professors or my other writers' friends. We have a little writers' group to give each other feedback. So mm -hmm. it's a constant thing. You write a second revision, third revision, lots of drafts until you feel completely satisfied with the screenplay. So mm -hmm. writing a first draft might just take me a month or two, but perfecting it can go on and on until you get into the production, really. Now, the historical movie that you wrote, because I wrote one about Cleopatra, and I did the, what you did. I had sprinkled it with, you know, some fiction in there to kind of make it more, the timeline more tangible. Did you have to do a lot of research for your historically based? And so did that take a lot longer than the, say, escape room that you wrote or your optioning? Um, yeah, for the Turks, since it's based on a true story that took place in 18th century, it's basically about um, a mechanical robot they made at the time that plays chess. And it played chess with Benjamin Franklin, Edgar Allan Poe. Um, who else did it play with? Uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. So it's very interesting. And I, it, in reality, there was a guy hiding in the machine. And yeah. I created my character, a fictional character that was in the machine. And my story is actually based on him. He falls in love with a princess. He wants to be with her, but he's an outlaw. He's not like from a royal family. So that added a lot of conflicts and they travel the world. They start in Europe, they end up in the United States. So of course I added a lot of love story to it, action to it, adventure to it, but it's based on some real facts. And I did a lot of research. I actually won a grant uh, when I was in Turkey to do that research. Good for you. I, yeah, yeah, and I wrote it with a friend of mine, and then I made it more Americanized. Then, and right now the way it is, I like it. I'm sorry. When you no, when you're saying that, that that's a good point you brought up. When you're saying that she Americanized it, do you see a big difference in the writing style? Well, you know, I I do because I look at stuff like that. But was it difficult you to make that that slide from Span? I guess you should call it Spanish film to U.S. films. I mean, it, that's they're not really the same way. They're not shot the same way and they're not lined up the same way. Was that a jump for you or was it a smooth transition? That's a good question. I mean, I grew up in Turkey, but I grew up watching a lot of Hollywood movies. And when I went to film school, they made us watch a lot of European films, Asian films. So going to a lot of film schools because I went to like three different film schools and they made me watch every kind of movie. So I think my films have a mix. I mean, I like the Hollywood structure that becomes a blockbuster in the movies. There's a certain formula around it in terms mm -hmm. of writing. You've got to hit the certain beats on certain times. I learned that. But I, I believe I also have a little bit something oriental that I carry, that I get from the Europe and Turkey side of things. Maybe I'm more emotional than mm -hmm. most of the... American. Yeah, Please. there's a little more depth to it. When you have, like, <clears throat> I know when I've written certain movies, like, I can take criticism. When you know, you have your secular producers come back, they go, I want to change this, I want to change this. And then there, you have one baby that you've written that, like, if anybody critiques it, you just want to cut their face off. Yeah. Is, is, <laughs> do you have one like that? Because, I mean, like, it's, like, I did a Rwanda war thing, and it was very emotionally, I was really attached to it, but I could not wait to get rid of it. Now, my Egyptian one, I'll kill anybody if they tell me I need to fix it. Do you have a baby that you're sitting on that it's like, don't mess with this. This is exactly how I want it to play out. It's exactly, it's pure to, to my heart, and this is the way it's going to go out. Um, yes. I that do. Be, which one would that I mean, be? I told that to my manager, too. So I have some screenplays, the Turk, Love, love Puzzle. I'm like, if somebody, we get a buyer, I'll be willing to sell these screenplays. But I wrote a TV show called Daydreamers. It has like a very diverse cast and it has lots of uh, people trying to be artists and survive in Hollywood, basically. That's a baby to me. I've been working on that for like maybe 10 years. I already wrote three seasons of that show and yeah. I'm still going back to the pilot and still improving it. And some big studios 
reached and read it, but it still needs more polishing, I think, to pass that mm -hmm. stage. But that's my baby. I want to be the creator of that show, even though I don't end up writing everything and directing every episode. I, I want to be the creator of Daydreamers. Because... Now I'm so impressed that you are. You've already jumped. You're so young to be writing and directing and stuff. You know, for people that are young and maybe aspiring to be where you are, if they're out of country or even in this country, what were the steps and when did you realize that this is what you were going to do and how long did it take you to achieve your goals to be where you are now? It's such a young age. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. First of all, every woman likes hearing young. Um, well, when I was a kid, my dad has a film production company. So I grew up surrounded with cameras and watching a lot of films. And I used to want to be an actress. That was my first passion. I wanted to be an actress. But then in high school, I went to an art school and then I changed direction. Then I decided I want to be more behind more than in front of the camera even though every once in a while i might still put myself in my films here and there like a little cameos right my, my true passion became directing i studied film and television i got a fulbright scholarship and i went to california institute of the arts for film directing uh -huh. and i got my master's degree my master of fine arts there and there i learned more about directing actors and uh, amazing thank like, you She's yeah. amazing. Like, well, let me ask you one more question. Well, we have so, here some amazing people. Right? I mean, it, amazing. It, it, amazing. amazing. So, like, um, was it difficult to make that? I mean, because you said your family's back in Spain, right? So you. No, no, my family is in Turkey. They, oh, Turkey. they were Inquisition times. They moved from Spain to Turkey. Okay. Right now. So they, they're in they're in Turkey, and this is a big deal because you're young, attractive. You're away from your family, and you've achieved this like this i mean do you think you've give, been given a lot of breaks or do you think you've really gone through the school of hard knocks i mean i'm an only child of my family so i'm very attached to them they're very attached to me and i miss them a lot sometimes i get homesick but they, they've been supportive of me they know like i have such a passion for film and they mm -hmm. want me successful and they believe I'm in the right place being in Los Angeles is, this is the right place to be if I want to make big projects great project do you are, are you looking to write projects that will change the way people view things or are you just writing projects not for just I and mean, are you looking to write a project that will change people's view on things or are you just writing for entertainment or is there some kind of passion that you have a passion about that you're trying to get away over to the public is there something in, your, in the hot in the horizon do you have something in your idea that you want to change yes um i mean all my films and tv show i wrote everything has a message of we're all one unity tolerance i even have a short called tolerance like let's get over the differences i'm against racism i'm against discrimination I'm against wars, so all my, I'm anti-violence, so all of these things I have reflect in my stories. And when I first started writing Daydreamers, I watched like lots of Seinfeld, How I Met Your Mother, Friends, when I was growing up, and I loved those shows, but I realized all the characters were white. And I wanted to write a show that each character is from a different ethnicity and in a different race, just to create that brotherhood feeling. like. Our skin colors don't matter. Our religions don't matter. Uh, we are. Excuse, excuse me, um, but the only this is kind of a mixed group too because um, Matt's the only white one here, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's really white. You are really he's, white. He's really Matt. white. Yeah, well, he, he's, you're like Matt. He, puts, yeah, the, he right. puts the cock in Caucasian. But go ahead. Yeah, no, he's 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 he's, he's, he's Amish. He's yeah. Irish. Um, do you? feel like that um is there a discrimination um i'm just going to be honest you're an attractive young female do you feel like you have some dis discrimination against you that some people may not take you so seriously i mean do you feel like you have to be extra hard to i mean i can't imagine being a director I mean, it's hard being a writer 
Mm -hmm. I can't imagine being a director. Um, do you feel like you really have to put on your game face? Or are you able to be yourself when, when you're in work mode? Um, I feel um, like there is a good improvement for women directors. This year, there has been a lot of successful women directors winning awards, making more films. There's a trend. So that's a good thing. I feel like doors are opening. But discrimination, just because I have an accent, I've faced discrimination, especially when I was in South Carolina. Yeah. California, not so much. But I, I got that kind of discrimination. And as a woman, there's sexism in the industry, for sure. And yeah. I got married a few years ago. Since then, I'm not getting sexually harassed much. Like, that's like a shield for me that uh -huh. I just say I'm married and people leave me alone. But yeah. there's some kind of sex. The coach one, the coach one, my coach. No way, right. Let, let me ask you no one way. other thing. I, I want to ask you, do you find that, it, for, you know, you're obviously very smart, get a full ride. Um, do you feel like you learned more in school uh, getting your degrees or out of school being in the business? Which one are, are you going to call it equal? Um, I mean, at school, you learn the theory of things. You learn about film history. You learn how to use the cameras and editing. It teaches you the basic knowledge and skills. And I'm glad I did because I was really curious. And I love learning always. But real life is very different than school. Real life is all about relationships. It's mm -hmm. all about relationships. Nobody cares what degree you have. They just look at how much experience you have, what your skills are. Can you shoot this? Can you edit this? Like, people don't really care. Like, it's great that you have a degree. I mean, I'm proud of that I got that. But in the industry, it's very different. It's really, really, really about relationships. You really got to have a thick skin. That's very true. Mm -hmm. and you and, get and, it, and it's like um, some people you see, because I, I, I didn't make it as a film career person. I couldn't do that. But you do run into people that just kind of have like the it factor. Like you can see them and go, mm, they're going to be successful. Don't you think that? Like I, I've been able to judge like my roommates. I was like, oh, you're going to be really successful. She was. She was. But, you know, as a writer, you got to have to have a cue. Because I guess as a director, you're going to be picking cats. You're going to be working with people. Correct? So you've got to yeah. be looking for that, your talent. Yes, yes. I mean, one thing that I learned from my experiences, you got to keep calm. I mean, it's sometimes things get stressful in the business. It's easy, you know, really, there's tension. You got to hurry when you shoot. There are deadlines, but you always got to keep calm. And I'd like to treat everyone from the bottom of the ladder to the top of the ladder with, you know, the same exactly. respect. I don't like people who are like at a higher level, exploit other people or treat them badly. And it's happened to me and I like, I'm not going to do that. See, and I think that that's one good thing that is, is sorry guys, but it's females. We kind of have been through that. So I'm more oh, very God, here we go with the female oh, no, shit. But I'm, sorry, but I'm more conscious <laughs> of being kind to everybody, like everybody has a place. But have you worked in New York or are you simply working in L.A.? That's two different industries. Even Atlanta. I mean, these are three different industries that are huge right now. Are you centered in L.A. or is any of your work spread out to the other places? Um, well, I filmed in Istanbul. I started there. Wow. Then I filmed a documentary in New York. Um, I'm actually, we, I shot three episodes for a documentary called Inside the Lens for a Turkish TV network. Mm -hmm. it, it got the green light, and I'm going to continue to shoot the rest in L.A. pretty soon. It's about a documentary about photojournalists and their experiences. Oh, wow. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. And I also filmed in Greenville, South Carolina, when I was living there. And I taught in Charlotte in our Shout out to Ann Chapman, by the way. Go ahead. Okay. I love South Carolina. Yeah, and that's a nice historical place. It's a lot of... A lot of I love South Carolina trainer. too, and the food. Yeah, you really miss the hikes over there. The nature was beautiful, and the artist community over there was really—I met really nice. You people. need to go hike the Malibu Canyon. Beautiful. That's yeah. like the prettiest place to hike. 
I think that you're fantastic. So if we were going on and we're, we're all the fans that have you picked up tonight, if we wanted to find you, where would we, where would we go? How do we find you or, or your work? We don't want to find you. We're not stalkers, but we want to. Stalk you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm easy. Well, coach, coach will come. Yeah, don't speak for me, please. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No. no, I, you know, don't I, speak for um, me. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to post. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to post. Pen. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to post, um, um, you know, uh, uh, Bessie's, uh, you know, information on uh, the night talk and also on yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm radio. So, um, you know, uh, you know, is there anything else that you, you know, wanted to, you know, tell us about um, Bessie, you know, as far as what, you know, what's going on? Um, well, I mean, I opened a company called Queen Bee Film Hive. And the reason I chose that name was, yeah. A little that bit is so good. Power. Oh, God. I love that. I love that. <laughs> My daughter's manager, Queen Bee. She's listening. Hey, Mara. Oh. Uh, Rockland. But I used to call her Queen Bee because they are. You, okay, boys, y'all just don't know. You don't seem like one of those kind of women, though, um, Bessie. You know, you just, I mean, you know, you don't seem like, you know, those kind of, you know, those women there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you seem more down to earth. Well, yeah, I mean, I want to work with men, too. It's oh, not like a I mean, I mean, don't want to work with women. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I'm going to work with everybody. It's just. It's just I like the concept name. I did well, too. I, I like the name. I didn't school. That's cool. Because you've got all workers. I get it totally. I mean, you've got <laughs> all workers. There's boys and there's one female. Yeah, and she's the queen bee. And she's right? the queen. Yeah. And the males and all, are all making honey. Yeah, they're all. It works for me. They're all making the queen money, not honey. Yeah. That's yeah, I want, I want money, yeah. honey money. Yeah, yeah, they want to go out to the flowers and bring home the pollen, bring yeah. home the money. Yeah, we pollen the flowers, right, Coach? Oh, I love that. That's the best name. Like that name sticks in my head. I'm actually gonna... stick his finger in the po- in the, in the flower. Somebody stick your finger. Your thing. Oh, you your thing? Oh, your stinger. Oh, it's a thing. You know the oh, the thing that sucks the, the nectar out of the flower. Yeah, your thing. No, 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 no stinger. That. Oh, stinger. But, oh, okay. Yeah. What? That do you take submissions? Like, are you a production company that is actively taking submissions from like writers that will, will see this and start submitting? Because yeah. I get tons of stuff. I'm like, I don't take submissions. Um, it's it's an official production company. I don't have an office yet, but I am looking for producers right now for the future film. I'm looking for anyone who might want to work with me for that Harry future film. I mean, th- those are my two biggest projects right now. The future film that I want to direct next year. And I'm also trying to get a team together so we can go out and shoot a lot of things because it's a teamwork. You can't just do it on your own. So the more people I have that I can work with, the better. And also I'm trying to go to this writer's retreat so I can improve my own writing skills a little more. And I also applied to AFI Film Directing Workshop this year. If I happen to get in, I want to make a more advanced short film. What What yeah. is the writer's retreat? I, I, I have to say I've never heard of that. Excuse oh, me? I, the writer's retreat you were talking about. What What is that? Um, It's uh, it's like a fellowship. There's okay. going to be producers, agents, writers. It's, you know, there's going to be some one-on-one uh, mentoring and who knows, I might get an agent there or I might make some good connections. Well, I, th- I think you've got a manager, honey. You're doing a lot better than most. Well, you, you sound amazing. Like, if I come out to L.A., I'm going to work with you. I, I might send you one of my movies. Um, I think you're amazing, and I'm very proud to say that, that you have really achieved what it's very difficult to, to achieve what what you've achieved at such a young age, and I'm. And she's beautiful. Right and she's beautiful. Yeah. And she's I had to put that in there. Can I put that in there? I mean, yeah. well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I said she's yeah. beautiful. She's yeah. a blonde, right. and she's young, and yeah. she's you know extremely intelligent. And, and to be so marketable and have this much going on is amazing because I know it's cutthroat. You walk into a coffee shop in Los Angeles, and everybody's at their computer acting like they're writers. You know, not all of y'all are writers, and, and you're actually doing something. So it, it, it's a pleasure to interview, and I'm 
grateful that Joe gave me this opportunity. Thank you, Joe. Oh, thank you, Joe. Yeah, thank, thank, you, thank, you thank you so much. And you made me feel so much better. This has uh, been like a motivation boost. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. That, that's, I'm that's definitely going to have to you. That's great. Now, now we're going, Bessie, I'm going to tell you, this is an, a, a, another part of the show. Um, Kimberly's going to give us a, like a... Um, a doom and gloom report. How many deaths in the uh, hurricane now, um, Kimberly? Oh, shit. Well, 13, including two <laughs> Americans. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. Oh, I know. No shit. I mean, talk about happiness. <laughs> you know, I can't help what's going on in America, and it's it's crazy, you know. I'm not sure if you saw my post. You know, we've got four states on fire. Um, well, Los Angeles is on fire, as you guys know. California, Montana, Oregon. And my ex-husband, he has 20 acres in Polson, Montana, and his dog got, you know, killed four days ago. And oh, and it's just I'm burning. Sorry it's crazy. Scent. My, I'm sorry for your lost prayer scent. I, you know, Sorry. I know it's human gloom, but, you know, no. Irma now, they say it's bigger than the size of Texas. I mean, if you can imagine a hurricane that's going to cover all of, I mean, the majority of Florida, it's just, it, it's the biggest hurricane to ever hit. Coach, there's some women up here that size, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I was gonna, I was gonna get out of Florida. Three got into the liquor early. Early. I was gonna yeah. get out. I was gonna you know, get out of Florida. We, kill, but we I, kill the weaker workers. You know but, that but, but, does it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's very good, yeah. yeah. really. <laughs> that, that is actually, uh, you know, that is actually a great name for a production company that with, with that woman owned, right? It's, oh, yeah. I, I love that name. Yeah. I actually wrote it down because I, I just think it's a. Well, I didn't write it down, you know, I'm not because I'm not a woman, but you know, I'm just that is, a great, not, that is a great that is a great name. You are far from the week she eats them. I, you know? <laughs> I was gonna invite everybody down to Florida, but yeah, yeah. I can't now. I, I'm not, my husband actually had a plane ticket. He was supposed to go to Florida Monday, and he's been trying to cancel. And the airline reservation is like, we're gonna car- charge you a cancellation fee. He's like. Why are you going to charge me a fee? It's like everyone's trying to get out of the state. Why am I, you know, he bought this ticket like a month ago. Right. Yeah. And so I just told him, just wait, you know, wait until Sunday and then, you know, cancel it. Yeah, but there's, there's, two, there's two more. There's two more hurricanes right behind this one. So basically, I need to pre record my shows and send them in. So, but uh, you know, I'm going to do Bessie. You know, uh, Bessie, I'm going to send you, uh, I'm going to send you my script and you can, you can, um, Sure, I'd love okay. to. All right, there you go. All right, I, I got. Cool. Yeah, I'll see what you Look know. Look at Joey; he's got his hands and everything. And I, well, I mean, you know, we are doing the North Enders, and I'd I love her pants a lot. You know, if she wants to do something. Are you still married in the North Enders, or did you guys get a divorce? Uh, no, I'm married there. I'm right? married. Yeah, I'm married to that. We haven't place. talked much about. Oh, it. you mean married in the show? No, yeah. I'm not yeah. married in the show. No, I'm just, I'm just, um, yeah, I'm on the side. I got, you know, yeah, we haven't, we yeah. haven't talked much. Uh, about yeah, that's the way. But you know, I'll send you the script. You can look at it, and okay, yeah. Give me, give me some ideas and things if you've got time. You know, I mean, that'd be cool. You know, I mean, I like, I'll, I'll send you my, my My partner is in New York. Um, she, um, her name's Monica Haskell. She run, uh, runs That's TV Magic. And her and I are producing The North Enders. So, um, you know, you can check it out and see what you think. And uh, okay. maybe yeah. get some, uh, Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. I'm sending you my script. Lauren, I want to do. Uh, it's sending got you stars what? attached. It's got stars attached to it. What is she sending you? But but Lauren, okay, I don't. You know, I'm 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 a little guy, okay. I'm not like uh, you know any of those big guys like Steven Spielberg or sh- shit like that. That's what you're right. looking for. You're right behind. Yeah, I guess looking for okay. HBO. Sure. I'm just a little guy. Yeah. I'm a I'm a small fish in a big pond, basically. Exactly. I find that hard to believe, but okay, go yeah. along with your story. Okay, so I mean, no, I, I you know, I mean, we, we that is in production. I have a film company in California. Um, called Gumbit Gumbit Pictures. Um, they do the shooting in California for me out there. Gumbit uh, Pictures. Gumbit Gumbit okay. G U M B I T. Um, okay. and they're from Boston. But anyway, um, I'll send it to you and um, you know, put send it to the Queen Bee. See what happens, right? Yeah, send Queen Bee. The, yeah, send it to the Queen Bee. Yeah, I mean, uh, who knows, right? Oh, who gosh, knows? she's extra pretty. I put my glasses on. Yeah, she's. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> And you look good with glasses too. No, she's Thank gonna. You. You know, now she's gonna come off the show with a big head. Now. No, right. she is. I mean, I'm like, I'm so impacted by her. I'm like, 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 I
Powered by women. Yay. Oh, another drink of wine. Oh, here okay, we go. Okay, I have another drink of wine. Well, I just feel good thinking. So I want to ask you, now Now, now we're in the silly, silly part of the show, Um, you know, because um, Kimberly Because everybody's had their wine. Yeah, well, we're all drinking. I haven't had any wine yet. Yeah. Yeah. What are you Kimberly, waiting for, honey? This is a silly part of the show. I got a, I got a couple of questions for you. I mean, uh, Lauren did a great job interviewing you, and she, she always yeah. does, like, you know, the hard stuff. Great um, job. But, I mean, um, uh, what do you uh, do? You have any favorite, like, give, can you give me two favorite um, American movies, like, you know, like any kind of genre that you would like? It's hard to pick like that, but I'll tell you two of my favorite directors mm-hmm. Alfred oh. Titchcock and Stanley Kubrick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, um, you mean like a Clockwork Orange, that guy there? Yeah. All, I mean, I love all their movies. Okay, what about so? What about um, you know? What about any? I mean, do you, what what kind of uh, films do you like? In other words, like you know, do you like um, comedy? Oh, comedy. Did she you said like, comedy. She said um, horror too. I like horror. I like mystery. Um, drama. You like you went to drama. Not so much. I think I like mixing a little bit more humor into my stuff. Even if I write drama, I, there's always a little bit of humor in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I was just, you know, I'm just, you know, just curious. There's, there's oh. really no humor in the North End. <laughs> 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 so, actually, Kim, Kimberly can write <laughs> very well. Uh, but no, I mean, I, I, I'm just, you know, I was, I mean, Alfred Hitchcock is, is a. Um, you know, as a, as a, he's a, he's one of the greats, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, he's one of the if greats. Not D. Uh, yeah, and and Stanley Kubrick. But I like I like people like Brian De Palma and you know pe- people oh, like yeah. that. Um, you know, and um, the other one who did um, uh, what's his name there? He, he, the other the other guy there. What the hell is his name? The bad, guy with the big glasses, the thick glasses. Woody Her. Oh, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. No, no, I, I know you talk. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the one that married his daughter. Uh, he married his daughter. No, no, she's talking That's about Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Woody no, Allen. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't. It I mean, wasn't his daughter. No, he, he adopted it, her. No, you no, know, Woody Allen. No, I'm not crazy about him, but All I do. Right. The, uh, to to be honest with you, one of my favorite um, directors is Michael Mann, and probably nobody knows him, but he does very. I know uh, you know him? Yes. He does very stylized movies. Do you know him, Kimberly? Which uh, he, I'm sure movie? I know him too. Michael Mann. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Movie? His movies are very stylized. I mean, I like, I like, you know, I like the way he shoots it and stuff. I, I, I he does a great job. I, I really you, like. You know that. what's coming on again is The Walking Dead. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that kind of zombie stuff because that will never happen. You know, I, oh, I'm into... but y'all, you know what? Can I just tell y'all? That... It's like King Kong. Yeah. Well, no, it's really not. Oh, it is. My children, when they, my kids, like they're gonna kill me. Actually, I have to make sure they're not around. My kids, my son and daughter told me when they were in high school, they said, if zombie thing happens, we're all going to meet at Bass Pro Shops. I'm like, it's not going to happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, well, it could Where happen. is this coming yeah. from? Where and you know why? Because they're, like, convinced. You know, it was, like, um, Kimberly, help me here. Sci-Fi Channel always puts on, like, there could be this, like, rabid rate, you know, thing going on. They're convinced that a zombie might happen. I'm no. just like, Throwing that out there, the kids you know, are convinced that this is going to happen. Yeah. I was really so. amazed tonight at school. Like, I feel like they're really coddling the kids. You know, they have a first hour that's really essentially nothing. You can you can do it to either make up your homework or something. And none of the teachers really give homework. And I mean, it's just so different than you know my generation was. Well, it was you do the work or else. I mean, well, well, I te- well, I quit teaching school this year, but um, I do substitute some. But I usually do with special ed kids. But no, I mean, there's about three to four hours of homework. I mean, we live in life. It's just crazy how much homework they have. These are all, these are, you know, you're, you're surrounded by intelligent women. Oh, indubitably. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's, you know. <laughs> indubitably, my friend. And you're using your big words, Coach. Yeah, even he, with a beer in your hand. He's showing off. He's just showing off. <laughs> did you, did sure. you get your website out? Tell Coach he needs to change his profile picture, though. I told him I've that. Him. I told him that many, many times. I'm not even bugging me, honey, but I haven't. Uh, I actually, my my computer shit in the bed. I, I got a new one yesterday. Matt's dropping dollar bills over there. He's dropping hey, money. Yeah. 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 You need to be hundreds, Matt. Who, Matt? Give us some. He wants uh, Lauren to dance. Uh, Uh-oh. Sorry. I'm only good for dollars. You're going to need 
You need a big black card. Exactly. Um, black. Kimberly, black I'll work. On, I, I'll work on that, Kimberly. I'll change that one of these days. Yeah. I got a new computer now, so I might be able to do that. Go to the beach and have your daughter take a picture of you. Yeah. What's that? Go to the beach and have your daughter take a picture of you. Or have Joe take one of you. You live next picture, door. Every picture of me. I have, take a picture of him. What, what yeah. do I look like? A every, his agent? Every every picture I have, every picture I have, I have a beer in my hand. No. Is that right? Why not? Put the beer down, let someone take a picture. Exactly. She's just like, what the hell did I walk into? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need to come on my show. Um, Oh, oh really? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, I do, oh, I do all the work, oh, and you go. Oh, you gotta come on my show. Oh, she oh, come on your show, no problem. Okay. Well, I mean, nope. she. The, you, can, just, you can go on her show, but you can come on my network. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's true. Uh, it, do I call you boss man? I call you boss man. I'm very. Don't respectful. call me boss man until I make some money, okay? Well, I have to call you boss man because you are boss man. Oh, but man. I mean, I had a on. I don't know if Joe was able to get the link up last night, but I had on. I don't know if you know him, Betsy. He, Damian Lay. He he is amazing. You would love him. He um is. He actually put out a movie out in 2013. He is, he's, he's living, he's from Sydney, and he goes back and forth, and it's a long story, but he put a movie out in 2013. He's been wrestling with the ending. It's won a bunch of awards, and then he recalled it and redid the ending and just put it out again. Who does that? I was like, just leave it. And he was like, no, it's just been bugging me. But he is on a journey to find the golden belt. He's got a, a degree in history too. So he does a lot of historical oh, I guess things. I got a good idea. Yeah. I got a good idea. So you, you, you uh, shot some digital shorts, right? Yes. Okay. So I got, I, I got a great you idea. Got in mind? So yeah, because um, songwriter Randy, right. Um, and this uh, songwriter Randy's doing a um, video. I already have the crew and you can direct it. What do you think about that? Sure. I'd love it. Right in, it's right in LA. Uh, you know, okay. I'll, I'll check. Yeah, I'll check. I'll check with Randy. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, that's and you, you uh, that'd be good. Randy was here early. Um, the the name of the, the name of the video is uh, "Beautiful Lady in a Black Mercedes." So I get to go to L.A., right? No, you don't get to go nowhere. <laughs> okay, you stay right where you are. Okay. Uh, and it's mostly. Oh, and I'll, no, send, I'll, you go, Matt. I'll send you all the particulars on it, and uh, if if you're interested, um, you could do it. You could direct yeah, it. Yeah, Pessy, you just need to awesome. say, "I need to be in L.A." No, you don't need to be in L.A. It's, Look, it's, Sarah, I'm it's already there. Earlier, it's show business. Business. earlier she wanted to be in New England, remember? Yeah, yeah I know. I'll bring you if I can. She Thank wanted you, to be honey. in New England earlier. Yeah, I'll send it to you. And you we'll can be BFF. Be. It's, 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 okay. Uh, you know, it's, it's just a song, right? And uh, it's, it's very easy to do. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get together on it. That sounds good. Sounds right. good. So, uh, you, so you did a lot of digital shots? Yeah. They're all on my website. I can <laughs> send you the link later. Yeah, yeah. so you got a reel? You got a reel there? Yeah. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll check it out. All right, I'll check it out. Now, I want to tell you guys, you know, I mean, a lot of you guys don't really know, um, you know, Catrice Bonds is in front of us, right? She's a Grammy Award winner, okay, which, you know, I'm sure that you guys don't, you know, follow that. But she, Catrice Bonds is the one who wrote the song for Saturday Night uh, Live, A Dick in the Box, for Ju when Justin Timberlake, that's, what, that's her song. A dick in the box. Yeah, Justin Timberlake and Andy Samberg. Now, did you ever did you ever hear that song? Huh? I can't say as I have. No, you don't. We watch that in live. Not really. Too late for me. Yeah, you're kind of older. Yeah. You, it's not. It's not geared to seventy year olds. <laughs> Ninety year olds. But I mean, I, I was I was very surprised when I heard that, and uh, you know, she she writes a lot of stuff for Saturday Night Live. You know, so she's um, she's a pretty very talented woman. Um, and what else are we doing? Anything else? What time is it, Matt? I know it's Matt with 10 past. I, 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 Matt, I'm, 10 I'm past. getting to you, Matt. 11 I'm past. 1, 1, 1, 1. What is it? 1, 1, 1, 1. Oh, we gotta, so we're going to go full 90? We're going to go full 90? Is that right? Yeah, 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 we're going to go full 90. Is that the plan? Is that the plan? It's fun to go to full 90. I'm, I'm okay, but, I, you know, I, see, Lauren, I don't have much time. Like, in other words, like, you know, I mean. I, that's why I know I because I, I don't do seven thousand things like you do. No, but that's why I don't. That's why I couldn't even inter interview uh, Bessie, and I did. I, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, I couldn't. I, I, I well, you were doing that. He was doing all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I couldn't. On the I, computer, you know, I couldn't stuff. even say her name on video the other day. Yeah, he was too busy buying a new couch today. No, I did buy a new couch. <laughs> did you like it? Did you like it? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on here? No, I bought Kimberly, a new. I, I bought a new couch and. Uh, How does Kimberly know? I yeah, how does she know? 
Yeah. Because he showed it off on tape. Yeah. Yeah. I showed it to her, and uh, you know, she said, "Yeah, sure. I, yeah, I think it's nice." You know, yeah, for, I didn't see it. There's along with those oh, nurses. Well, it's, on, it's on my Facebook page. Oh, okay. You know, it's what? When's it being delivered? It's not ladies' it genitals. Along, the, 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 those five off. nurses that looked at that dead man's genitals. They thought, you know, he was hot, and lifted up the sheet, you know, unzipped the body bag to look at his, you know, private part. What? It's a, it's a, it's you didn't a, see that? The, they got. No, he, they got they got put on uh, temporary leave. I, the man I, I had died, lost. and they were obsessed with his penis, so they, you know. A, a, Matt, obs- I <laughs> Obsessed with a penis? Yeah, I'm obsessed with a penis? Just, you know, that's why Matt's obsessed with a penis. The nurses were yeah, going well, in that. dipping down the body bag and looking at his dead body, looking at his, you know. But who's penis. obsessed with a penis? These nurses were. Oh, uh, speaking about penises, listen, I'm going to have, I'm going to, you know, I just want to let one? you know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm having the, um, the Dominique's girls on night talk. Um, oh, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, and, um, I'm having the actual, the chairman, uh, um, she's a, well, chair, a chairperson or chair girl. Oh, I don't know what you call them. Right. You know, woman. Chairperson. No, I don't know what to tell you. Know, chairperson. I don't want to offend anybody, but she's. Chairperson. She's the head of, um, BCM. Okay. We don't know what that is. What? We don't know what that is. I, don't, I, I, I really can't say right now with you three, but you know. Uh, yeah, you can. No, I, no, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. Matt, do it. I sent you better pictures than this. Oh God. Anyway, um, I hope everybody, um, you know, gets out of there uh, in Florida. My mother doesn't not gonna leave. She's gonna sit in the tub. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, mean, I don't but know why she's gonna do that. Oh, like, cause that just got rid of the Houston weather, and I guess now I'm about to get the, the Florida weather. Yeah. Now, um, in, you're in California, uh, Bessie, right? Yes, I'm in yeah. Los Angeles. In, in what? Los Angeles. Oh, L.A. Okay. L.A. Yeah. But yeah. they've had a lot of fires in the in the L.A. wilderness. Haven't you seen all the smoke or smelt it? Yeah, yeah I think that's right. Fires going on there. You're right. Burbank was all over fire. Bunch of fires going on there. Yeah. yeah. But I used to live in Santa Monica. We never saw a fire. I never saw a fire. <laughs> you don't want to see fire. I did it in my chimney. I just didn't see it. Oh, uh. I... <laughs> <laughs> this is the silly part of the show I now. You were in Alabama. No, this, no, she, Yo, no. this is. I keep y'all lighthearted. Like, you know, you know, y'all I mean, seriously. What you guys don't understand is what you, what you don't understand is um, Lauren is a big deal. She's you know she doesn't want a lot of people out in California. You know she's, okay. she's been around. Been around. But why is she you know, because she's, she, you know, she's pretty and young. Um, does, you know, I mean, and no, no argument. No, I'm, no, just, no I'm argument. just gonna say, but y'all typically get a little serious, and you need me to live and lighten things up with a little humor. And right. and Matt has refused to put up anything I've said him. Because he keeps on looking at your video over and over again. No, he's video. not. He's looking at all the texts I'm sending him. <laughs> oh wait a minute! Now. That's what they're doing, texting oh, back and forth. They're, they're sexy. So you're, each you're other. just you're, no, you're just some go between them. Two. Like each other. So you're um, a go between them two. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. That's 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 the story they of my life. Text each other back and forth. Yeah. Well, actually, Matt, show them the picture I sent you. It's of me I, of a monkey. I'm just a lonely me making up with a monkey. Show host, yeah. You know, late night. I can't show host. that stuff on the air. That's naughty. Faith, faithfully, <laughs> faithfully, Kimberly's. I, I want to tell you though, uh, Bessie. I know this has seemed unorganized to you, but the reason we're, we're actually we're on video because um, uh, why are we? We on? have you on. Well, no, well, we go we on. We, no, we go on video because um, so we can interact with each other. But yeah. we're actually a radio network. It, 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 instead of just a voice, you can right? See so you can see, talk yeah, so we, you can. It's not just a voice. Yeah, and so this actually will be um, uploaded into our system and then shared out. But uh, as well as you, sh- this whole entire show will be, you know, shared out to you know, hundreds of thousands of people. Basically. Thousands. Well, yeah. Thousands. Night talk, is very, night talk is very popular, Thousands, Coach. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was going to ask that. So it's not just live, but like, for instance, my friends in Turkey, if they want to watch the show, is yeah. gonna be able to, are they going to be able to see it later? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is this is uploaded. I'll send you a link. I'll send you two links. I'll send you the audio and video. I'll, this is all over the world. Yeah, it, it's all, we're in 60 countries, Bessie. You That's know. great. I'd love to hear it out. Yeah. Can I tell you a story? Can I finish talking to her for a minute? You just talked to her for an hour. Can I just say something? <laughs> we're in 60 countries. Let her countries. know how wide you are. We're in 60 countries, Bessie. We're, we're, um, we have 2.75 million viewers and listeners worldwide. Okay. Uh, and we are in Turkey. Um, so uh, And growing. 
Well, not in Turkey. No, no, but if, oh, well, we, well do, I don't think they speak English in Turkey, do they, Bessie? Of course yeah. they do. She does. She I, I thought they speak Turkish. Yeah, but everybody's second language is English now. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, what do I know? Yeah. You know, I'm, oh, I, I, what are they, uh, I'm just up in my little car in Boston. I really don't know anything about nothing. Betsy, this is not to be, I'm not trying to be, are you, is the Turkish fascinated with uh, Count Dracula? Because, you know, what? she understands why I'm asking this question. There is a reason with Vlad yeah, There's an urban legend about that, that it was like close. Taken over to what Turkey. What the hell is she talking about? I don't know, man. It, you know, Hold on. Kimberly, did you ever Kimberly, take a Turkish bath? Here. You ever, ever been to a Turkish bath? I actually do have a master's in history, and I will tell you that Vlad was taken to... Okay, never mind. Uh, I, <laughs> I talk something to like that. They've been on the are friends. Out of all of us. It's going... There's too much. I'll tell you, Bessie. I'll send you a text. Or I'll send you a thing when I have you on the air. When I have you on my show. Well, Kimberly, what are you talking about? This is a show. Oh, my God. Well, I have you on this is your show now. This is your show right now. I'm making your head swell. Joe's trying to ask Kimberly a yeah, question. I'm trying to ask Kimberly a question. I'm sorry. Have you ever been to a Turkish bath, Kimberly? Oh, Turkish bath. A Turkish what? Bath? Bath. Bath. No. Have you, Bessie? Let me take you, girls. Come with me to Istanbul. I'll take you. It's really nice. Right. Give you a massage. They wash you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to hear what Lauren has to say now. I've been body scrubbed. I've been body scrubbed before. Wait, you know, totally naked body scrub. That felt good. Women's part is nicer than the guys' part, I'll say that. <laughs> if y'all look where Matt is, I got my last massage from this character right there. R really? Aww. Yeah, he was giving me a massage on my back. Um, yeah, I would love to go to Turkish bath. I thought they were for men only. That no, that's a that's a Russian uh, Russian steam bath. Wow. Oh. They steam. have women and men separate. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. See, we're uh, actually uh, Bessie and I are like uh, worldly. Do you know what I mean? We've been around, you know, you know, places like that, right, Bessie? Yeah. Well, she's <laughs> from there. I would hope so. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm, I'm, I'm from Boston. But huh? Well. But that, the Bessie? first time I went there just to bring an American friend, a tourist, to show because I've lived in Turkey. I only went there one time to bring a friend of mine. Do you think you, know, Lauren... you just envision people being like really fat and hairy in there? You know, just to say that. That part is not that nice, but you where, get where, where are these where are these no. questions and stuff no. coming from? No, they're oh all they God. all have six packs and all that stuff, yeah. Lauren. <laughs> Them because if they were, they would have some girl doing that at home for them. They're, no, they're all handsome like, guys. Really oh, like, like me well, pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, like, 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 when when I got guys. the massage on the ship, they were really cute girls that you know, and they were little, they were small and tiny, but they were strong giving you know massages. Did anything move, Kimberly? Yeah, no, nothing moved. Well, really? just, it's just an you know, it's just a normal question. Y'all know me, I could get shots in my back for my pain. What pain? I get, uh, you have seen those shots? I get those. Uh, I thought those were Botox. She falls down. Those were shots on my back. Matt, don't say it. It is not. Say it, Matt, say it. Is it steroid injections? Say it, Matt. It's, Matt, it's, it's it. a steroid and pain blocker. Because yeah. I just it, located Matt's my shoulder. It. I've had those. It time. actually, yeah. I and had I, them in my neck, too. Yeah, so it just makes me feel better. I'm not getting an epidural. Go ahead. Matt's going to say something stupid like I fell down, but I did. I did fall oh, down one time. Stupid. No. There was a ray of sunshine shooting in the window, and she tripped over it. Oh. See how sweet that was? Is that really what happened? See how happened sweet that, that was very sweet, Matt. Yeah, that was that was very, very it sweet. It was. That was very sweet. See, see how nice he was to you? Mm. you? I love Matt. He knows that. You know, no, I always I'm tell you this about my, my friend well, Matt, Anne Matt, South Carolina. Matt, Matt can't love her, can he? You know that hurricane supposed is now directed towards yeah, South Carolina, and you know what my friend said she's gonna do? She's oh. gonna get her little canoe out, put it in her living room, and just sit in it with her dog. Are you kidding? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Yeah. And she said she's not she's, leaving. She's prepared for flooding. Yeah, no, what I do. Like, I don't know what I would do if flooded. She's prepared to die, I think. Well, no, the, 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 uh, that's a. Did you hear the about that young sure. kid? He was a he was like a pro surfer. Yes, he, was, he tried to he go hit out there and surf the rocks. waves and died. <gasps> well, he hit his head on the he hit his head on the coral and that's what killed him. Well, but the waves what are too idiot. strong for you. That's a stu it's too stupid. Right. All his friends were out there skiing. They were all doing it. They were all doing it. 
Um, actually, and one thing, uh, Bessie, when you do a, a film, if you look for somebody in a vest, there's Matt. He always has a vest on during the, yeah. in the summer. Get a golf. Get a golf vest on. It's very sexy, Matt. Don't let him tease you. Uh, very uh, sexy, yeah, Matt. Sexy. You and yeah, you're yeah, really sexy, Matt. What? No, flipping out. The guy from flipping out. I, hey, I love that. Hilarious. Sexy, Matt. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now he's known as Sexy Matt on the show. So, uh, yeah, Bessie, was it easy for you to come in here tonight? I mean, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Is there anything special that you had? Me. No, but is it? Was there anything special that you had to do? Um, like get a massage? No, no, I'm talking to Bessie, <laughs> not you. <laughs> I'm talking about coming in. Was it easy? Because she came in no problem. I mean, it seems like women come in no problem. A guy, the guys have problems. Yeah, I know. Well, with the exception of Cindy, no, Cindy Hobbs uh, does not. No problem. Cindy Hobbs has problems, but we Cindy's don't. Not here tonight. She's she should made she made a one appearance for the six months. Yeah, well, she, she's, she's in the house. entertainment business, and she's the director. She's going to be getting quiz for the rest of her life. Who? Who? Bessie. Well, yeah, Paul. Well, yeah, that's I all. I mean, this so, is so, so um, just so uh, just because so, we have fifty five percent um uh, male viewers, um, Bessie, and forty five percent female. And I, I want to ask you, um, are you married? Yes. Oh, yeah, she said she was married. Oh, did you I, I, was, I was probably either. like someone else. I, I, usually, I usually catch Who that right away. Who listens to that? I don't I listen to that stuff. I usually right catch that right away. I didn't catch that. She said she got married a few years ago, and it helps her because now that's her, you know, she doesn't have to worry about being harassed so much. Harassed about why? Why? Yeah. By men. Did you listen to the interview? Oh, I no. did, but I don't, you know, first of all, first of all, I'm sure she doesn't go to the set looking like that, okay? But she doesn't, right? Do you go to the set looking like that, Bessie? Yes. Yeah. No. She does. I'm sure she does. I don't does. look like this on the film set. I'm going to get my hair and makeup person do me first. Yeah. No, I mean, really. She probably has a baseball hat on and her hair's all, you know, tied up and hey, stuff like that. The, uh, a woman with a baseball hat on is very sexy. No, uh, you know, I mean, she's, she's dressed up to go out. No, she's not. She's at, she has no makeup. She's like a natural beauty. That's what I was saying, guys. Uh, if you listen to the interview, I said that she's... Oh, my God. She's going to leave here with a big head. I know. <laughs> listen to the interview. I said in the interview, she's smart and beautiful. Yeah, she and is. Like ten times. And, and she's no, young. And she's young. And she's young. Yeah, you said it like ten yeah. times. Yeah, she's young. And, okay, yeah. well, you know, you're young to me, Coach, so... <laughs> I'm too young for these women. Everybody's young to me. I'm too young for I'm them. sending the same compliments to you. You're Thank young you. and beautiful and young. smart as well. I'm too young. I don't know. Well, that's, you know. Matt, did you hear that? You want to throw up one of your sexy old pictures of me again? See, I fall down a lot, and they give me grief. I just fall down because I'm doing so many things. If, yeah, you did. The wine. What are you doing? Walking and chewing gum. I don't now, know. Do, uh, do you I drink at all? What, what do you drink? What's a famous, um, um, a famous drink in um, Turkey? In Turkey. Oh, Turkish raka. Turkish raka is very famous. You usually eat it with like Turkish appetizers and fish, and it's very famous drink. Um, it's kind of like ozu. It tastes like a little bit like ozu or sake. Okay. 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 Right. Am, am, am I stepping over the boundaries and ask a stupid question? Is this the place where y'all No, I'm scared to ask. There is a place where they bury the fish and let it sit for a month and then bring it out to eat it. What are you talking about? about? I've uh, heard of that. Thank you, Kimberly. I've, I've heard of that, yes. Where they, well, say that again. They, they, they salt it. They it, salt the fish. It's a cuisine. I mean, they, yes. they bury the fish. Maybe... Uh, I wanted uh, to say it was there, but I they probably I, buried it in Melrose on Melrose in, in LA. Yeah. Uh, so no, I, 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 I'm gonna have to look that up. So I just bury my up. cat. So I get to dig it up in a month? No, I dig it up. It's a, it's a cuisine. I mean, you know, here you would get like salmonella and dye, but there yeah. it's a cuisine. Yeah. Well, they, they uh, eat a lot of salt. Do they eat turkey in Turkey? Right? I mean, that, how would you say that? Right? <laughs> no, really. How would you say that? Do you it's not very common, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's you a normal question. Thanksgiving in Turkey? No. Oh, that's they an American, American holiday. Do they celebrate it? I know that. That's an American American holiday between the Indians and the Pilgrims. I understand that, There's but no my no Pilgrims in Turkey. No, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, Turkey. I understand no, that. I get that joke every Thanksgiving. I'm used to that joke. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, so they have a turkey, yeah. but they don't yeah. celebrate. Yeah. But my UK friends 
celebrate Thanksgiving. Mm. We compare foods. Yeah. Like I said, Thanksgiving is an American holiday, though. Yeah, and so... Yes, um, I know that, but a lot of places... Like so yeah, uh, uh, no, I, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I I'm not arguing that point. What? No, that a lot. Of, it's an American holiday, Thanksgiving. But I, I want to say that other countries have Thanksgiving also. No, same, they don't. Same right. type thing. Same type thing. No, they don't. Of course. They they don't. Yeah, they, I think they do. <laughs> Why would they have Thanksgiving? Because they want to eat turkey and dressing. Do they have um? Do they have um? Halloween in, in uh, Turkey? Yeah, we actually celebrate Halloween, and it's one of my favorite holidays. On, what about Christmas and stuff like that? Do they have all the regular holidays like we do? Yeah, but of course, um, the majority is not Christian in Turkey. So, um, I mean, Christians celebrate that. Jews celebrate their thing. Muslims celebrate their thing. So everybody celebrates their own. I mean, yeah, I'm sure they don't celebrate Independence Day. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I they mean, might. You know, yeah. They might. I have new wrong integrations today. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought, oh, hold on. I I told a, a Turkish friend of mine that you was coming on because you were some, she, I, I, if I, cause you were you were Turkey, uh, from Turkey, and and uh, he said something about um, was Turkish. They had the Ottoman Empire or something like that. Was that is that mm-hmm. was that okay? Because that was yeah. He said that was a big deal years ago. I said I didn't you know. I think they invented Ottomans. You know, I don't know what the hell he was talking about, but basically, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I didn't know what he was talking about. But anyway, I, you know, I mean, um, it's been a great ninety, right? Um, Already, you're out of town. Yeah, I mean, shoot. no, we got we got two minutes. No, well, I mean, I, I, I got to close now. Nah, right? we'll close later. No, I'm not. I can't. We have a, <laughs> a we got another show coming on. Okay. Which is um, um, which is. Oh, this is, I, I gotta write this shit down, man. I gotta, I gotta write. Oh, You've been saying this. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I, we have another show coming on, which is called Just a Thought with Hans and Victor, and uh, they're right on, on after us. And then uh, my uh, uh, British girl at night, Trudy Light, she'll be on at midnight tonight. And uh, I want, I want to uh, thank you to um, uh, Bessie. Um, Bessie. You can't, can't pronounce last name. I can't much. Oh yeah, no, but yeah, but how do I pronounce your name again one more time, Bessie? Basie, you're saying it right. Okay, so yeah, I, I like that name, kind of, don't you? It sounds, it sounds, I love it. Yeah, very, very yeah. sexy. No, hey, you should say that. She's a director. Bessie, so Bessie, what? She, she's a kid. Ooh. I'm a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to. I want to thank you, Bessie, for um, for coming on to uh, night talk and all this madness tonight. Is she uh, on Facebook? You, uh, what? Is she on Facebook? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Bessie I'll and I go it. way back. It might be me, Joe. Huh? Did you say we can too? No, no, Bessie. No, I mean, I, you know, she, uh, she I, I caught her in a feed, right? And, um, you know, she, then I knew she was a filmmaker. I said, well, let me, you know, see if she wants to come on, something like that. You know, that's, that's what I did. Awesome. Um, but anyway, um, and um, Kimberly, um, thank you for not bringing the show down too too much. And no, why was you late, Kimberly? I got I to gotta ask. It was my daughter's, um, I got to meet the teachers tonight. Back to, you know. Oh, so did I. I was supposed to. Yeah, so we're a twenty-three-year-old and they're having. Yeah, I didn't go. Oh, I, 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 wanted, I didn't go. No, hold on. I I went tonight. I went tonight, and uh, last night was PTA. Wow. Right. And I. I, yeah, and PTA. I yeah. Did, no, I didn't go to PTA because okay. I, you know, I think that um mo- because they have it at six o'clock and I got stuff to do. Right. I think a lot of people, you know, do things at six o'clock, and so it's mostly women in PTA. Right. No, yes. all women. But you're gonna you're gonna run it next year, you said. I was I was not. I don't know. You gotta I run it next year, you said. No, no. I already told them that. If I'm gonna run it, I'd fire all the all the mothers there. I I, I agree. I just got all the mothers. Agree. You right? and I will. You and I will take over. So, but no, I mean, I, the guys will take over. The guys took over the bus stop, right? Yeah, Lauren. I want to tell Lauren about um, you know, um, she did a fantastic job on on her song today with uh, Randy. Song by Randy. It, you, well, you'll hear it. You'll hear it um, soon. Uh, okay. And it's called. Um, uh, Cowboy Cowboys heaven. in heaven. No, Cowboy Heaven. Cowboy doll. Heaven. Doll. <laughs> Cowboy Heaven doll. Uh, and I want to thank you for Matt Hazy for um, you know producing Night Talk tonight, and thank you for not sharing it to the Arm Radio feed. Um, you know, because we can. <laughs> we'll do that in a few minutes. You know, I so tried we'll to share it to the feed, but somehow us commoners aren't allowed to share to your page. Oh, uh, uh, here we go again. Uh, here we go with the. <laughs> Here we go, Coach. Um, as it's always, Bessie, I hope you come back sometime. You know, uh, and I'll send you the stuff, and you can take a look at it. And, you know, uh, 
I mean, who knows? Okay. Yeah, who knows? I'd love yeah. to. And then, um, my exit now? Should I go? <laughs> She's huh? like, damn, I need my one now. No, no, just sit there now. Sit there because we have to go out. Okay. okay. And um, good night, everybody. And don't forget, uh, we'll see you next week. Good night. Have a good night. Have a nice weekend. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Okay, so now we're out. So now we're back in again. But fix your hair. No. Nice talking to everybody. Thanks, Joe. No, 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 not thank me. Oh, thank, thank you. No, 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 thank the people. <laughs> thank no, people. No, not. That's something I'll say. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Oh, all right, awesome. All right. Okay. Uh, good night. Songwriter Randy, at the tone, leave your name and number. I'll get back to you. Been staring at you, trying to focus on my long. Been sipping it up, that I got it for a while. DJ, play that music. DJ, play that music. Drop it like it's hot, hot. hot, hot. Drop it like it's sexy. sexy. Drop it like it's hot, hot. hot, hot. Do you want me sexy? sexy? Drop it like it's hot, hot. hot, hot. Do you like it sexy? sexy? Drop it like it's hot, hot. hot, hot. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Sharon is dying down now. I think we have a new uh, candidate and we have a new favorite vegetable, which is asparagus. Let's go back to the station.